Hello and welcome. My name is Jaap Gasser. I'm a developer advocate at Rubik, and today I'll be talking about using Rubik Polaris to assign SOAs and to protect and recover SharePoint Online document libraries. So let's dive in it. So here we have the Polaris dashboard, and what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the inventory. You can see we have Microsoft 365 here. And we can either assign an SOA domain or view the protected objects. Uh, since we've already assigned an SOA, what we'll do is we'll jump right in. You can see that there's a number of objects that we can uh, protect. We have the Exchange mailbox, we have OneDrive, but we also have the document libraries here. And that's what we'll take a look at today. So we can see there's a number of document libraries that are uh, unassigned and some of them are assigned. So if they are assigned, that means that an SOA is currently uh, active on this uh, document library. So what we'll do is we'll take the team site, which currently has no SOA as assigned, and we're going to click Manage Protection. So if we wanted to assign an SOA, we could do it here. And we can click to this, we do Next, and we would assign this SOA, which would take a backup every day and retain this one for 90 days. So let's back out of here. You can see that we have the tech demo uh, SOA and there's a number of document libraries that are uh, being protected here. The one that we are interested in today is my custom document library. So let's switch over to SharePoint and take a look at what we have in there. So what we can see is that we are already in my custom document library. Uh, we have a number of uh, files stored in here. The ones we are interested in in particular is, for example, the vision and strategy deck. So if we take a look here and we look at manage access, we can see that vi both visitors and members have access to this. If we take a look at this Microsoft and Rubik white paper, we can see that this item is not shared. Uh, the reason I'm pointing out, uh, pointing this out is the fact that whenever we restore objects, uh, these permissions are also restored with them. Uh, another thing that I've done for this, uh, uh, for this document library is that I created a number of custom columns. So for example, we have custom column here in which we've included a 2021 report and we have the quality uh, level. So we have gold and silver for these documents. So what we are going to do is we're going to jump back into Polaris and we're going to restore these uh, three files. So that's the vision and strategy, the white paper and the second white paper. So switching back to Polaris, you can see that we have my custom document library here. If we click this, we can see there's a number of uh, restore points that we can use because the SOA backs up once a day. So we're going to take today's backup. I'm going to dive into the recovery options. And we can see our three files at the top here. So we have the two white papers and we have the vision and strategy deck. We're going to click next. So we're going to get an opportunity to, uh, to either recover to the original document library, which is what we'll do, or we can recover to another document library. When we choose this option, we can either choose an existing uh, document library, or we can do this recovery to a new document library. It depends on uh, your choice. So diving into recover to the original document library, you can see that the following three files will be recovered. We're going to click restore. You can see that in the bottom corner, we get a pop-up. And if we take a look at events, we can see here that the restore has started. So what we'll do is we'll switch over to the document library. And we can see that the folder has already been created. And if we take a look at these files, we can now see that the custom columns and other data that was stored in there is recovered properly. We can take a look at the vision and strategy deck. Uh, we see that uh, this one has the access uh, to visitors and members. And now if we take a look at this white paper, we can see that this item is not shared. So all of the properties 
Success permissions and custom columns are all recovered using Lubick Polaris. So to summarize what we covered today, uh, we saw that we could use Lubick Polaris to protect SharePoint Online. We went over how SOAs can be assigned either to specific document libraries or to the entire collection of libraries. We talked about what could be recovered and uh, we actually went through uh, the process of recovering files in a document library. Have a nice day.